After we claim these last three lions, this should be all that we need to be able to purchase the 300 Magnum as well as the Argus Scope. It is so nice to finally be able to get them. Just, uh, I believe, one more claim and we will have exactly enough to get both of them. And you guys know what that means. It's time to head over to Yukon Valley and hunt that map for the very first time. And just like that, we should have exactly enough money to get everything that we need to take our uh, setup over to Yukon Valley and see if we can get some trophies. Now, in order to be able to access Yukon Valley as well as the 300 Magnum, you will need to purchase the Yukon Valley uh, map DLC, which typically is around $8 USD. However, during sales, you can get it for around four, sometimes even less. So if you want to, I would definitely recommend waiting for a sale, though it is such a good map with such a good rifle that is well worth the full price. And there we have it, our very first lookout point. Let's get that real quickly. And now that we have got our very first uh, lookout tower, it's time to grab the very first outpost as well. And I gotta say, Yukon is still one of the most beautiful maps in the entire game. It is just such a breathtaking map. And now that we have unlocked this outpost, let's go ahead and purchase the Argus Scope as well as the 300 Magnum, uh, because we should have both of them available to us now. And we do indeed. Let's go ahead and grab the 300 Canning Magnum, one of the most useful and powerful rifles in all of the Hunter Call of the Wild. This gun is an absolute lifesaver, and you will find yourself using it quite a lot. And now let's go ahead and purchase the Argus Scope, and you guys may be wondering why I waited till level 30 to get this thing, and the main reason is because I did want to get level three of recoil management, which you can see right here in the perks we did finally get. I earned one more skill point, maybe two while I was uh, in between episodes, and we used it to unlock recoil management. We also did earn a couple more skill points. One of them went into sight spotting, which makes it so we can spot our animals without leaving the scope from our rifle. And then the other one that I ended up getting was right here. I'm only happy when it rains level one, which decreases our visibility in foggy weather. The next thing we're going to go for is this one right here, improvised blind, which is really good. It further decreases visibility inside large bushes and shrubs, which is ridiculously useful. Well, since we spent all of our money on the 300 Magnum as well as the uh, Argus Scope, we're going to go ahead and kill a couple of these Harlequin Ducks, or else we're not going to have any money to purchase ammo for our brand new 300. Alright, let's go ahead and try to get a shot into this little guy, and then maybe we'll go for that Caribou next. Well, we ended up getting one of them. Let's see if maybe we can get one on the fly. Though I really don't think my aim is going to be that good, so we're probably not going to get any more of them, unfortunately. Well, there's a level 4 caribou. Let's try to hit it on the run if we can, and that should be good right there. One more shot for good measure, and that should give us enough money to purchase some ammo for the 300 Magnum. There is the little Harlequin Duck, 6.56 on the score and 393 cash. We also have another caribou walking kind of in the direction we're going, so let's get that down as well. That should be a good vital hit on that guy. And once again, on the way, we've got ourselves something else to take down. This one right here is a level four grizzly bear. So let's get a shot into him right there, and he should start going down very shortly. There is our grizzly bear, and I still think that even though the grizzly bears have not really been changed ever since they got added to the game, they still do look very good, even though they are the only bear model that really has not been updated recently. There is one of the caribou that we ended up taking down, 1171 cash for that guy. You know, as always, take every opportunity Call of the Wild gives you, because... When you're early on like this, anything helps, and that is a little bit of extra cash to buy some ammo right there. And we've got a female moose running over here as well, so we might as well take it down. And that should do the trick. One more for good measure. That way she can go down right next to us. All right, that really should be enough stuff down to get as much ammo as we really need, as well as a little bit of ammo for our 308, because we'll most likely need to use it at some point during this uh, hunt. But uh, we got a good amount of stuff down around here, 
And it has got us over 5,000 cash, and we've got one more thing to claim as well. Unfortunately, I could not find where the uh, very last one of those caribou went, so uh, we didn't get it. But it was still enough for us to get some ammunition for our 300 Magnum, and then also purchase a little bit of 308 polymer tips, though I don't think I'm going to. I think we're going to stick with the 303 the more I think about it, and just do a 303 and 300 Magnum hunt today. I mean, we're primarily going to be showing off the 300, so the 303 is more just in case we find a good caribou or something like that that can't be taken with the 300. And I mean, let's be honest, we got to save a little bit of money to customize the old 300 Magnum. And the very first thing that we will take down with our 300 Magnum is this level 3 Plains Bison right here. A Plains Bison are the perfect thing to take down to kind of showcase the power of the 300. But we're not going to go for a hard shot as much as I want to and could probably hit it from this angle. We're going to go for a double lung just to kind of show you guys the power of the 300. And that right there is a powerhouse of a rifle. Smoking a Bison like that with no issues at all. And I believe there's a chance that that was only a single lung shot anyway due to the angle. It's very possible that that was only a single lung hit. And there we have it, our very first kill with the 300 Magnum. Let's take a look at it. This indeed was just a single lung, and it died really quickly, even with that. The reason we got single lung there is due to hitting the scapula, which does kind of lower the penetration that you will get. So, a little bit unfortunate, but... Even with single lung, it died about the speed that the 7 mil would be killing them. So that right there shows just how powerful the 300 is. We are going to be heading down to the swamp area next to take down some more bison. But I figured we might as well swing by this little outpost that is right here. Uh, for any of you interested in grabbing it, it is a pretty easy one to find. You just go to the end of this little road right here. Uh, typically, whenever a road ends, there's usually either an outpost or a lookout tower or something at the end of it. So that's a good little tip if you're not sure where some of the outposts are and haven't got the lookout towers yet. Heading up the lookout tower and we find ourselves a bunch more bison. Uh, this is going to be a great opportunity to get a couple more of them down and also talk about something else. Their drink time is from 8 to 12, so they've got a pretty good accessible drink time. It's not too late at night to where it's dark or anything like that. Love it whenever they keep the drink zones to the daytime and bison are no different. Now we are going to take a couple of them from here if possible. And this is a good opportunity to talk about why we are using the Argus scope a lot now on the channel as I used to use the Hyperion Scope pretty much exclusively. And well, to put it short and simple, essentially it all started when I got the game and I finally worked up to the Hyperion Scope and didn't want to waste my money on buying another scope as back then I really didn't know how to earn a lot of cash in this game. And as I used it more, I really started to enjoy how easy it was to make follow-up shots with the scope because it did have a lower zoom level than the Argus. Not to mention, it was also just a wider field of view so it didn't take up as much space on your screen, making it so you could see more around you as you're taking your shots. But as the game progressed and I also changed as a player, I started favoring the Argus scope quite a lot more for a few different reasons. One of the main reasons being that they increased the spook range of gunshots, making it so it was difficult to get follow-up shots anyway. And so it made it pretty much pointless to use the Hyperion for me when I'd probably not even be able to take a second shot in most cases anyway. And the times that I could, I was able to do it just as quickly using the Argus scope and that is one of the reasons why we have started using it more. Higher zoom levels and it doesn't really matter if I can get a fast follow-up shot uh, considering they pretty much just dart off immediately anyway. Also, I just realized I was zeroed incorrectly during every single one of those last shots so there's a good chance that we did not hit any of them vitally. But on the off chance that we can, we will try to get that one as we get attacked by wolves, which is another really cool part about Yukon. You gotta watch out for the gray wolves because they will come out of nowhere and absolutely ruin your day if you're not careful. We gotta be super careful here that we get as many of them as possible. That's gonna be a dead wolf there, but there's a lot more where that one came from. And just like that, they have ran off. We managed to get down a couple of them, and honestly, they're pretty good money, so 
Not too, uh, not too mad about that. 1446 cash, and that one's just a silver. Wolves really are good for money, provided you can consistently find them. I think that's one of the reasons I've never included them as a money-making method, because they're not exactly consistent. Wolves can be tough to find, and they're usually not the most reliable when it comes to getting them to attack you, so most of the time, you'll end up shooting a couple, and then they'll run away, or just not even try to attack you, attack you at all. So it is a little bit inconsistent with the wolves, but they can be quite a bit of fun to hunt if you uh, do have the opportunity to. There is one of the plains bison that we shot as it was walking away. We got liver, stomach, and right lung. And because of that, it died a lot quicker. 83% on the quick kill, uh, but still didn't even get full quick kill on that shot right there, which is a pretty normal thing with bison as they are quite tough. Uh, very shortly, we will actually try to take a couple of them with the 303, uh, just to show the difference between the 303 and the 300 as we uh, spot some wolves off in the distance. I think it's about time we take down some of these wolves. This level 7 is looking pretty good, so let's just drop a shot into it and hope it was vitals. It looks like it was, and one more for good measure. Also, I believe I forgot to do this at the beginning, but here is our hunting profile. Four diamonds, 469 kills, 108 golds, etc., etc., etc. You guys can see the rest of it if you want to read through it. And then we've got our profile card right here, almost level 31. We've got nine into the skills and then eight into the perks. And then here is all of our weapon score down here. Then, of course, we got the latest harvest right here. You can see we were hunting some lions before we went to Yukon Valley and started shooting some plains bison wolves and whatever else we could find. The wolves are once again trying to get away. If we can get one of them to turn broadside for us, that'll be a great opportunity to get a little bit more money before they get away. I would like to do that if possible, but it seems like they are not going to turn until maybe right then. Well, it's a hit, but I don't know if it's going to be a good enough hit to take it down quickly. So there is our two wolves. This one right here is at level 7, 1500 cash, and almost 300 XP is honestly really good. You know, if you can get a lot of wolves, they would be great for making money and XP, but unfortunately, like I said, they're just really hard to get a ton of them consistently. And that right there is going to level us up. Let's go ahead and toss something into our perks. What do we even want to go for now? We already got ourselves recoil management, so we're kind of done here for the most part, though fast shouldering would be pretty good to get. And in fact, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to buy fast shouldering, but first, let's kind of show a before and after. So without any levels into fast shouldering, it takes about this long to raise your rifle. It's a pretty slow process. And in a lot of cases, if an animal's about to spook, that might be just too long to the point where it spooks off before you can get a shot into it. Now we're going to purchase fast shouldering level one, and you can already see a massive increase in the aim speed. This is huge if you're trying to quickly aim at something before it runs away. Well, we've got probably the greatest trophy of our entire Call of the Wild career right in front of us. That is a level one's plain bison. Believe it or not, these are actually pretty difficult to find. Level ones of a lot of the males in most species are actually not a common sight, so this is really cool right here. And this is going to be our first perfectly broadside shot, though it is quite a ways away, so it's going to die a little bit slower as it is probably still just a single long shot. That right there is a level four Plains Bison. That's definitely the biggest one that we've seen all day. If we can get a good shot into that guy, we 100% will. Let's see if maybe we can get his attention so that he will start to shuffle around. For those of you that did not know, if you can get an animal to go alert, it will start moving around a little bit, but not fully spook off, giving you a good shot if it's been kind of stubborn and just didn't want to give you a broadside angle. You know, as much as I wanted to take that four, this level one female is giving us such a good shot that I feel like I have to take it. Because this is going to be our first close range shot that is perfectly broadside. And to be honest, they're running towards us anyway, so we can easily get them down. In fact, we can probably get multiple. One more shot for good measure. And to be honest, this is one of the cool things about bison. They will very often run kind of towards you and don't really run that fast. So you can get a ton of them down very, very quickly. And I'm not going to pass up on that opportunity to get a bunch of cash real quickly as they just run all around me. 
So that is something that does happen a decent bit with the Plains Bison, and it's pretty nice when it does. Like I said, it's great for that little uh, boost in cash because you get a bunch of them right on top of you virtually. Uh-oh, we've got ourselves an aggressive wolf. Things just got a lot more intense very, very fast. That should be a vital hit. Is that the only wolf? There might be more. This has been quite the day between uh, lots of aggressive wolves, aggressive bison, and everything in between, really. This has been quite the day. But it's been a pretty good showcase of how Yukon Valley can be and why a lot of people love this map. There's a lot of action, there is a really cool weather system as you've seen, where things have kind of just got snowier and snowier as the day has gone on. It started off with completely clear ground and now there is snow all over and that is one of the coolest features on Yukon Valley. Oh no. We got more. We've got more wolves incoming. Are they done? I think they might be done attacking. Yeah, this has been such an eventful hunt. There's literally just everything coming at us at this point, and this is how a lot of my Yukon hunts end up going. It's a lot of this. Also, I'm noticing as we've hunted, I feel like the 300 used to get better penetration on bison. Maybe it's just me not remembering properly, but I feel like it used to do a lot better on them. Still, it's gonna kill them quicker than any of the other guns besides maybe the 338, but still, that's kind of wild that it doesn't get double lung. Well, as we claim this outpost, moose time has finally started, which means we can move on to a different species that isn't plains bison and further show the power of the 300 Magnum, as I know for a fact you can get double lung on the moose, unlike the Plains Bison from what we've seen. Well, unfortunately we spooked it off, but that is a pretty nice little level four moose right there. If we can just drop a shot into it, he should start to go down pretty quickly, uh, provided we did hit vitals. I don't know if we did as he was running away, but I'm gonna hope that we managed to sneak it in there. Now, normally on the moose, I would want to go for a hard shot as that is the quickest way to drop them on the spot. But with us kind of showing off the power of the 300 Magnum today, I think it's only fitting that we take a double lung shot instead. Just to show that it does kill them pretty quickly. I mean, you can see how fast the health is going down on these moose and she's already on the ground. This is a huge step up from the 7 mil or the 303 or any of those four to eight class rifles. So there's the level four that we ended up shooting. I'm pretty sure we just got a single lung. Actually, we only got stomach and intestines. So we didn't even hit the vitals. That actually would have been a gold scoring moose though if we had managed to get a good shot in there. But here is the moose we really want to get a look at as we did manage to smoke her with a double lung shot. And you can see right there, that was enough to drop her very, very quickly with full quick kill bonus. So this moose right here is actually giving us a pretty good shot. We're going to go ahead and try to take it down. Uh, we will aim for the heart this time just to kind of show you guys what that does. Heart shots are insane for the moose. And all you got to do is kind of aim at the very top of the leg or if you're head on just at the lower part of the chest right in the middle. Well, that is quite a beautiful level four moose right there. That is definitely going to be our next target. And I think for this one, we are going to kick it up to the 300 meter zero distance and try to drop a shot right into the heart if we can. It moved right as I shot. That was probably my bad. I shouldn't have shot with it uh, shaking its head like that. Uh, but we still managed to clip the lung, so it will be going down. And for those of you interested in where we're hunting, we just went kind of to the north of the lodge and have been following this shore. You can see we've shot a lot of moose through here. It's a pretty good area for them. And it continues all the way to the very edge of the map in that direction. Here is that second moose that we ended up shooting. This one was once again a hard shot. You can see why the hard shots are actually pretty easy on the moose. They've got a huge heart. Uh, provided you know where to aim, you can get a hard shot pretty much every time. And a great way to figure that out, like I said, look at them on the side like this. You can see their heart kind of lines up with their leg. So if you just aim kind of where the leg meets the body, uh, just a little bit above it, you will end up hitting the heart. And if you're straight on, you can see just aim a couple inches below or above the bottom of the animal's uh, stomach, or I guess chest, and it will end up hitting the heart. 
it's a very easy hard shot to make and it will drop them so much quicker. So that level two has decided to come back and I think it's another opportunity for us to kind of shoot one with a double lung to once again show that you can pretty quickly kill them even without hitting the heart. If you don't want to try and risk missing the heart shots, you can always just go for the double lung. And it will do pretty much just as good. There is our little level two that we took down with that double lung shot a couple seconds ago and we should have that level four very, very close. There it is, our best moose of the day. This guy should be a decent level four, and he did die in a bush, unfortunately, but 234 is definitely not a bad moose. Uh, we would have got more cash there, but only 26% on the quick kill. Uh, still a decent amount of XP, but moose really are not known for being good for money, so that's not really the primary focus. We are just showing off the power of the 300 Magnum, and it has been doing very, very well on the moose. It did okay on the bison, but unfortunately they are just a lot more difficult to kill quickly, so they will very often still take a bit of time to die, even with the 300 Magnum. I am interested in if the 338 is going to do better. I might test it out later in the series. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do so. Since we've shown off the 300, we might as well earn enough money to get the 338. And then uh, do a bit of a comparison for those of you that don't want to spend money on purchasing the Yukon DLC. This location that we were just hunting is not only a phenomenal moose area, but it's also great for caribou, grizzly bear, fox, and pretty much anything else that can be in this section of the map. And not only does it have all of that going for it, but it also has an outpost right next to it and a bridge that you can get on top of and just kind of scout out the entire area. It is such a phenomenal area and we're going to go get this outpost right now. And we have finally made it to the outpost. Let's go ahead and claim it real quickly. And I think that is going to end the video. We got a decent bit accomplished today. We managed to take down quite a bit of moose and plains bison as well as unlocking the 300 Magnum and the Argus scope. Let's go ahead and take a look at our codex once again. Before we end the video, we'll see the latest harvest. Here is a bunch of the plains bison, wolves, and moose, and stuff like that that we ended up taking down. If we go over to the hunting profile, we're at 484 harvest now. Uh, still the same amount of diamonds and stuff like that, but we did make a good amount of progression today. We leveled up once, and we're about halfway through the next level. We're probably going to go hunt a bunch of lions in the meantime before we get to the next episode and uh, see if we can get ourselves up to like level 33 or 35 or somewhere in that range, and then we will uh, do whatever you guys are wanting us to do in the comments. Though, I can't promise it'll be next episode, but provided I see something in the comments that I think is going to be good for one of this, uh, this series episodes, then we will do it in a future one. So be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys want me to do in this series, and like I said, I will read through all of them and find the ones that I think will fit the series the best. But with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!